в девятом. В девятке. Нет страховки никакой. Играешь на, на удачу. Вот как сейчас, например. What? Да, на одном. Да, блядь, что нужно в конечном цене. Today we are going to look at a very entertaining match between the legendary Efren Batareas and the two-time European champion, former World Bull Masters champion. He was recently inducted as the team captain of the Moscone Cup 2020. He is no other than... I'm confident, I'm a great player as well, they just don't know me yet, so... <laughs> I'm sure they will soon! Alex Lely. This is the World Bull League Championship in the year 1999. This is the first trap where Alex Lely trying for a shot on the five ball. He was trying for a bank shot and a safety play at the same time. But unfortunately, the five ball is still fully exposed for Efren. And watch what happens here. As usual, Efren Reyes goes aggressive and does not hesitate to go for a bank shot like that. And now a long shot on the six ball with all the other balls in the open. A very controlled stroke on the six to hold the cue ball for the seven ball next. Again another clever approach as he plays for a Z shot for an easy position on the eight. This shot involves three rails, so perfect speed control is crucial. Now Efren takes the first track, 1-0 against Alex Lely. We go now to rock number three, Alex Brokwell, and makes a ball. And by the way, this is an alternate break format match. A good opening shot on the one ball with all the other balls in the open. Alex Lely was born on June of 1973. He is a Dutch former professional pool player. He is a two-time European champion, having won the 9-ball and 8-ball event at the 2005 European Pool Championships. He is nicknamed as the Plague from The Hague. A great draw shot on the 8 and an easy shot on the 9 ball. It was a flawless break and run out by Alex Lally. Now he trails 1 to 2 from Efren. And this time he's just 26 years old and is ranked number 2 on the European Tour. We jump now to rock number 5. The score now is tied to 2. Alex to break. As you noticed, Alex Lally breaks really hard, hitting the one ball full and bucket seat on the side bucket. Now he has a full view on the two ball, but he might have to play safe here. He tried to go for a safety, but did not get enough speed to snooker Efren behind the callers. And now the maestro gets back to the table with no apparent obstructions. In this particular rack, observe carefully how Efren Reyes strokes each boss with ease. In this match, I think Efren Reyes is in his top form, and you can tell that by the way he shoots. His body is well relaxed, and he has a very loose grip on the cue stick, and just look at the cue ball control. <laughs> Efren Reyes is 45 years old during this time, and I believe he is in best shape and in his prime age. A controlled stroke on the 8 for the easy 9 ball to lead the match. Now Efren Reyes leads 3 to 2 from Alex Lely. A very interesting rock coming up next. This is rock number 6, Efren Reyes to break. Unfortunately, he got a dry break, but left Alex Lely a problematic rack. He does have a shot on the 2 and 3 balls, but the pink 4 ball got clustered up with a 7 and 9. He has to plan to break the 4 ball free or set up a nice safety play for it. And he goes for an easy safety play. 
Все правильно спланировал. What a successful solid safety attempt by Alex, as he buries the four ball deep behind the seven and nine balls. As an average pool player, the only escape I could think of is to go one rail like this. But a very low percentage hit because the five ball is in the way. But let's see what the magician has in store for us. What a great kick shot by the magician, but... No, in any No! God, please, no! No! But suddenly, the referee called a foul. It looks like there is no escape, but this is how the magician pictured it to be. He slightly elevated his cue and did a massive four cushion kick shot. The cue ball traveled with enough speed to go four rails, and Efren was so close to making it. He missed the four ball by a millimeter, and unfortunately, hit the seven ball first. No wonder why Efren Reyes is the king of precision kicking. Another amazing trick shot coming up next, as Alex Lely makes a perfect safety. A friend was able to make contact on the four ball and almost made it, but the cue ball went off the table and that is a foul. What he did was he aimed into the opposite rail and jumped the cue ball over the nine ball. Watch this as we zoom in into the shot. It was a classic trick shot and every pool player should somehow know this trick, just in case you're going to need to do it. Как наглядные пособия для стримера в борьбе. Now Alex Lely proceeds to run out the rack after a battle of amazing back-to-back -back safety plays. It's amazing how you can learn a lot in this rack just by watching and observing Efren Reyes play. This is rack number seven. Alex to break scored side a three. He broke really well and made the four ball. And as you can see, all the balls are spread out nicely, and everything is going well with Alex Lely. He once defeated Efren Reyes in the World Pool Masters in the year 1999. Watch the shot on the 8 ball as something unexpected happened. A shocking miss on the 8 ball as he slightly overcut it, maybe because he was concentrating too much for a position on the 9 ball. This is rock number 8 and again a crucial mistake from Alex Lally as he played bad position play for the 2 ball. He went for a rail first shot and was a little bit lucky as he left no apparent shot on it, but it's hard to tell against the magician. A precise bank shot by the magician and watch this three cushion position play by Efren as he prepares for the four ball next. Notice the precision and cue ball control as our friend uses the rails for easy position play. This is how Efren Reyes separates himself from any other professional pool players. He has a very unique style of playing. He believes in himself so much that he is not afraid of making risky shots. He has a very aggressive style of play and most of the time gets the reward. Efren now takes the 8th rack and leads 5-3. Alex Lely breaks the 9th rack and comes up dry again. He makes now a few consecutive mistakes and proved to be so costly and he is paying the price. Now Efren proceeds to run this rack and something magical happens here. The problem here is the 5 and the 9 ball. And Efren will be trying to break it. Unfortunately, he caught the 9 ball too thick and ends up snookering himself behind the 5 ball. Efren does not use jump cues, so he might have to play some kind of a kick save here. What? Unbelievable shot as Efren makes a kick and somehow luckily pats the 6 ball instead. He went for a two cushion kick and makes contact on the four ball. And the cue ball somehow managed to crawl slowly into the six ball and knocks it in. 
Magli. And on top of that, he managed to land on a shot on the four ball. It's hard to believe how stuff like that happens when Evan Reyes is playing. Maybe this is one of the reasons why he calls himself lucky and why we call him as the magician. Evan runs out the ninth rack and leads 6 to 3 from Alex Lely. We jump now to rack number 11. Alex to break, Evan scores 7 to 3. Another dry break from Lely and Efren now takes to the table again. A great opening shot on the one ball and position for the two ball next. He follows the cue ball down table and opted for a long shot on the three ball. He got a little too short for position on the 4, but it's no problem for the magician. A very creative shot, kissing the 4 ball off the 5 ball and still got a shot next. At this kind of level play and how he strokes these balls, it is very hard to beat the legend. It looks like Efren Reyes is never gonna miss a single shot. <laughs> and now he is on the hill trailing 8 rocks to 3 from Alex Lely. I think the plague did not expect this kind of performance from the magician. This is the final rack and Efren broke really well. He puts the 6 and the 7 ball and has a good opening shot on the yellow 1 ball. Watch how FN runs this rock out easily with outstanding confidence and finesse. This year, 1999, FN has won 6 major titles in his career, including the 2 Derby City Classic title and the ESPN Ultimate Pool Shootout. Now Efren lands on an awkward angle on the 5 ball, but watch how he managed to get position on the 8 ball next. He went for a 3 cushion play with perfect position on the 8 ball. Efren Reyes easily won this match with a dominant score of 9-3. to Jim Rempe became the overall champion of this year's tournament, and Efren Reyes was the runner-up and came up second. But he won this tournament twice in the year 2001 and 2002. Lely won the 1999 World Pool Masters after defeating Efren Reyes 7-5. He also reached the final in 2000, but lost to Ralph Suke 7-3. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give this one a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. I will see you in the next video.